Hey, Tritas, happy Tuesday to you. Hope you're having a good one. Sorry I'm late, uh, got caught in traffic. Downtown renovation stuff, so, uh, yep. 
that's okay. Not much has changed except a lot of percentage points and a lot of assets, and it's uh, been positive, right? Green, my God, what a good day for some of these coins. But Bitcoin is now at that very critical area. Here's some good news, all right? We know the XABCD is looming, right? We're, we're pretty much at a 70% retrace from our all-time highs to that lowest point, all right? PCZ, a bearish cypher stuff. PCZ actually a bearish Gartley stuff because you could anchor X, A, B, C on the lower low for C, or you could do X, A, this is B, a 62% retrace, this is C, and D, which is, a, again, so two different harmonic ideas that are both valid. You're, at, you're near the pattern completion zone. Good news is there's nothing really reinforcing those ideas, right? Like there's no very strong bearish divergence at the pattern completion zone of these uh, structures potential structures right I'm talking about here's the other one Scott Carney was looking at since we got our new higher low right here it's a perfect it's literally perfect textbook bearish garlic I mean oof, don't like that but uh, maybe there's just literally too too much demand not enough supply I mean flip the chart over right flip the chart Right, isn't that exactly how you want to see Gartley's develop bullishly? So, although I, I, everyone's getting excited and happy and everyone's perking up because Bitcoin's at around $55,000, but just, right, you have to at least consider the fact that the, these structures exist, they're here, and now we're, we're on like reversal watch, okay? Good news, like 12 hour daily no, no bearish divergence. Nothing indicating a reversal at this at this PCZ. So it, they're they're there. They look beautiful. There's just not much backing up the harmonics. Normally, you want to have everything lining up for these patterns to be uh, amazing, right? I mean, look at your. This is like crypto uh, total market cap, which is 1.68 trillion right now. Look what's happened. Look at the positive momentum has just begun again after the hidden bullish divergence. So this could go much higher. We could go, we're tempting the rally here and it could take, we could go all the way up to 2 trillion. I mean, high to low, go that 1618. This is just implying that it's just begun and could go much higher, total market cap. But that's also like Bitcoin to the US dollar. Also on the daily, right? The parabolic trend, it's beautiful, look. You're just showing it, man. We were talking this yesterday. If you have a good day today, you're gonna go positive. Like if you don't, then it might be tomorrow, but we did it, man. It's a great day. This uh, hidden divergence continuing and it's just begun, right? What's up, T.S. Elliott, man? Bruh. Thanks for emphasizing the letters. Sometimes it confuse me, right? To sell it or something, right? T.S. Elliott tipped $40. Following that dude from earlier this week, request shield activated. Negates two requests. Let's look at what you want to look at. Thank you for all you do. Oh, I get a pick? I mean, like, why not Tesla? That's up 20% today. <laughs> we can look at Tesla. So I'll add my yeah, own request. Yes. That's that's new. Thanks look at whatever I want. Home. Wow. Just in time for daily candle close. You be safe out there. What's up, Solomon? Thanks for 20. Uh, yeah, dude, three minutes. Or two minutes. Two minutes until you're... So it's like I go live and it's... Perfect. Well, I gotta change up the set here. All right, I think we're good. Need a, an audio check, I guess, right here. Might be too loud, might be too quiet. Might be just right, might be just like Bitcoin. All right, so, um, you're about to be, Bitcoin's going to be closing at one, two, three. Wow. Bitcoin on the daily is going to be closing at its fourth highest level ever. Like we had one day, two days, three days higher. This is the fourth highest candle close in history on Bitcoin. That's incredible. I mean, this is just, how can, I mean, how can a bearish Gartley or bearish cypher play out when the daily histogram looks like this. That That's what just makes me really skeptical on a major reversal 
Like maybe, maybe if you were up here or something and you were already, you know, showing like uh, a, a island of momentum and it was just not really doing well and it was struggling. Bitcoin's not really struggling right now. And it's just, it's just like, how in the world can these bearish patterns play out right now when we know like there is no OTC market? It's gone, man. And institutions are, are, are tapping into the uh, exchanges. Like, remember Coinbase Pro in the past 13 days, over $2.5 billion has been put into cold storage, purchased and then put into cold storage. It's just like, you just gotta wonder, man. Like, how can, then we're, we're talking about like a logistical issue with supply on Bitcoin. So uh, anyway, I mean, that's a great day for Bitcoin on its way to potential glory. Uh, three seconds, two, one, a new day is upon us. You've done it. Ethereum closed at its highest level since uh, February 22nd, nearing the 78% retrace, 1882. Bullish and golden candle just now. Nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, your daily candle is closed. Oh my God, we did it, man. Let's try to break through the PCZs so we can go to all-time highs. Amen. All right, all right. BTC all-time high tomorrow. I would love that, man. It would be hilarious. It would be so nice. It, it would, uh, it would make sense, right? If you look at the histogram and the daily, it would make sense to go test all-time highs. What's up, Chug, man? <sighs> After yesterday, man. Oof, that was rough. Oh, well, 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 Bitcoin immediately out the gate. $10 away. Well, it's $10 away from 55. Okay. All right, so Ethereum's got that same argument, right? The bear cipher, PCC, you're at it. You're pretty much there. So it's like, uh, nothing's implying a reversal of the downside. Really, not really on the, uh, on the four hour uh, daily, uh, nothing. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I guess at this point, if it starts pulling back, you could start trying to argue that, well, yeah, a little hidden bearish divergence could be in development here. If you're not no careful. Hey, much great TA on Phantom. I made good money. Would love your TA on Algo, please. Thanks, bro. And let's hope that God, Jesus, and all the disciples stay away from tonight's stream. Well, you understand that uh, praying or saying that might actually embolden the Holy Spirits to uh, come back. So just, isn't it like Dunning-Kruger where you, uh, or something like that? I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, dude, all right? You never know. Charge yourself 21 to $25. Yo, brother man would love your thoughts on Kellogg daily struggling to get above resistance in the four hours. Mara Bazu, bearish and golfy. Much love, Kings. Clinking beer mugs. Clinking beer dude, mugs. Dude, that one's just like, uh, forget about it, man. Like, you own it. You're collecting dividends. You're waiting six plus months. That's Kellogg, dude. That's the strat. I mean, you know, one can have their stop set up and just once they set the stop up, man, you got to let that thing play. Like, today was the big bamboozle right oh no it's all over the the nasdaq composite we just back tested what was the neckline and now it's resistance um and now it's just like gap up and then it ran so volatility is still like there's so much whipsawing on this market um we'll look at it we'll look at it for sure see look what you've done dude look what you've done it's your fault who we're blaming haters haters Jesus wept. We are blaming two Rolexes, two Rolexes. Okay, thank you. So, uh, yeah, dude. And here's the thing. Here's even the thing. Where, where it's like anywhere between here and the 88% retrace, that's where you gotta be like, uh, because there could also be the idea of the bear shark pattern, right? The shark, that's the 88% retrace, or Two different pattern completion zones on the chart. It could go up to freaking 56,869, or it could go to the, the one hundred thirteen percent retrace, which is another PCZ of the shark, which is at sixty thousand dollars on the dot. So anywhere, I know it's like who cares, man? Like it's not anywhere between here. There there are different pattern completion zones of diff, different harmonics, right? Where a major reversal could occur. So we just got to be monitoring the daily. Um, 
no bearish indication yet on the daily, you're, you're fine. So anyway, just talking, so we got Cypher idea, you got Gartley idea, you got Shark idea, they're all valid right now until you eventually break $60,000. Then it's, then you're out of the, you're out of the, completely out of the woods then. All right, so uh, let's get a like one. And we'll get these requests. All right, the idea on Litecoin, hey, it broke the downswing resistance yesterday. It's above the two moving average. It's methodically moving on up. The target eventually is $228, right? Nothing's changed. It's the same harmonic idea. Um, Bear Cipher probably could be maybe a, I don't know, it's probably not a Garley looking at that not very deep so uh, this is the idea like you think you'll eventually get there then maybe that's where the major reversal of the downside happens Bitcoin has hit 55,000 and is, is now a couple hundred dollars below it so we'll, we're big what if areas now right we, this is the area we, we we're really really confident to believe Bitcoin could get to right 55k 55 we've been talking about it for a couple weeks now um, and now we're here so it's the waiting game are the conditions so bullish there's actually literally no supply, and we're witnessing a financial revolution going on. So therefore, there's no way these bearish patterns should play out. Or is it like TA is just going to be completely respected without an edge, without bearish divergence on significant time scales? There's none of that. So that you got to feel good about it. All right. So anyway, like once it's fine, man. I mean, that's the targets 228 anyway. Uh, so I mean. There were so many good assets, so many assets that have been looked at, identified patterns and structures, and they're starting to play out, and they're doing some are doing way better than others. But uh, I don't even know where to begin, man. Where to even begin? Let's look at that ICX E, ICXC. Sorry, the Nasdaq Composite. It's a lort. Is that a joint? Yeah, we'll put it on the list. Thank you for the twenty four twenty. That's what I'm talking about, right? It's like. Oh, it was perfect, and then it, and it's like, nope, you gapped up, and, and then you, you didn't really do much after the gap up and the the initial four hour rally, nothing, and so like it could just dump, it could make another lower high and sell off again, man. So, good news is that little bit of divergence, I guess, is starting to play out, but um, I guess you could say it's safe above the neckline of uh, thirteen thousand dollars, twelve thousand nine eighty eight really not that impressive you know until you get above thirteen thousand six hundred dollars i'm not going to feel that great about the nasdaq yet still very volatile tons of whipsawing and things just wiping out people trying to play calls and puts shorting you know leveraging whatever index slash Poopster, thanks for the twenty dollars seventy four cents worth of Ethereum. Uh, we can look at an index to wrapped Ether if you are so inclined. You want, man. So again, to me, man, it's like, uh, isn't this what keeps happening, right? I mean, like, it, it everything it's all, all over for this index fund. It's all over, and then it starts dumping. It starts breaking out of bearish patterns, and then what occurs? A pivot and then a rally and then it, it eventually makes its way all to new highs right it just over and over and over this market these market conditions are absurd stupidly bullish that is why you're not looking for short opportunities per se you are looking for longs on assets that are in areas of value because the macro is bullish you you would like for real have to fall below like 10,831 to to actually be considering a trend reversal on the on the Nasdaq. I mean, because that's your next discernible swing low. I mean, for real. So still very bullish trend, despite what's been happening on the weekly. How bearish the weekly, like, dude. Triple RSI bearish divergence. Yeah, doesn't matter. Are you paying a pin bar now? Oops. But look at, I mean, it's just so much bearish divergence in it. Doesn't matter yet. But that, this thing, like this week, it could be like a candle, an indecision candle, though, where it's like everyone thinks it's safe. And next week, the dumping, the selling continues. All right. So you're just getting, don't, people are getting lost within the day to day of the volatility of the up and down, right? Big swings. 
big swings aren't really that good, you know, like big swings up, big swings down. I'd prefer, I mean, like in the normal mark conditions, right, where it's just kind of methodical every day. It's just getting wild now. So anyway, I just wanted to revisit that uh, head and shoulders pattern that is now back above the neckline. So. All right, um, and we can get to the requests or whatever. What's uh, I think gold pop today too. I've been out most of the day, unfortunately, contractor and stuff. But yeah, nice, nice uh, bounce. But um, I mean, I guess you're making a higher high than that previous high. Not on the daily though. Not on the daily. Daily, nice big bullish engulfing candle. Very nice. No edge, but look where you were. Right, you were at that down sloping demand line. You fell out of it. But it's not about the breakout itself that we got yesterday. It was about the follow through price action you received after the confirmed breakout. The follow through price action was a bullish engulfing candle. So you're back in this structure to where now this could be a signal for an upside, a rally to 1750, 1765 to back test what was once resistance as resistance again before dumping further. All right? So. Yeah, that could be a short-term relief rally in store for gold because of the candle painted because of how you held the channel. All right. Cool. Cool. So kind of looking at NASDAQ. I mean, S&P 500 and Dow Jones weren't near as bad as the NASDAQ, you know? I mean, we were just uh, looking at NASDAQ because it's like getting destroyed so much. I mean, look at that, how strong it is. You, you can't make, it can't make lower highs. It's showing hidden bullish divergence very well, like a low, a higher low and higher levels of negative momentum about to go positive. This is going to all time highs by the looks of it, right? But the, the, the S&P, I mean, was not near as scary as the NASDAQ, right? Nor the Dow Jones, because I mean, those have like uh, those aren't connected so much to the big mega cap tech that had been selling off so much. And the Dow Jones, at least, was getting, you know, had all the value names in it. John, I don't, I don't know, man. Please read the uh, description below when requesting an asset. Thanks so much, dude. Okay, so yeah, I mean, too bullish, man. Too bullish of trend. Too much, man. Money printer go burr like crazy. All right, uh, so we can. I mean, I could just pick any S coin and we could talk a beautiful tale of TA being respected across the freaking market. I mean, you've seen the momentum shifting to the upside all over the place in crypto. And it's, it's been wonderful because it's just been such an educational experience for newer market participants. Um, anyway, so I guess we'll start on these requests. First one was, oh, oh, whatever I want to, oh, Tesla. Let's look at Tesla, my first request to myself, Tesla. What a rally, man. Yeah, I was looking at this in log scale. Um, pretty amazing channel in, in log scale. No edge, my God. Yeah, you, you had not seen uh, positive momentum since January 21st on Tesla, so it's still just tons of negative momentum. No Japanese candlestick reversal or anything. So uh, you would think that 780 could you could go run up to back test it as resistance for making a lower high and selling off again. I don't think there's really anything that um, sticks out as a great opportunity for Tesla. You know, it's up 20% today, so probably not a great entry for tomorrow. All right, here's Bitcoin, 55,150 and climbing. Nice, man. This is what we want. We want to see really nice fall through price action through just shatter the pattern completion zones of these potential harmonics. They are not confirmed at all. But it's only the deal. All right, sweet. Dude, I gotta go back to Bitcoin, man. Let's, let's go, dude. Yeah, I mean, there, there was nothing implying upside, really. I mean, maybe you, yeah, that was actually convergence. If you were gonna call that a double bottom, maybe class C bullish difference in the four hour alone. It was, yeah, there was no way. TA was not able to help one gain an edge for a potential reversal here. It was just, what a day. All right. Here it is, chat, this is what we want. Remember. There's an active trade setup on Bitcoin. You see the target. The first target of this asset is $61,000.
that's the 100% measure move of the consolidation structure. Or you want to call it the inverse head and shoulders. Sure, you call it that. I don't. You don't have to label everything, but um, you measure the move similarly. Noise, noise. Thanks for getting me out of the negative. Started last month minus 75%. Join your Patreon and now in plus 200%. Pick a chart for my request. Checks, homie. That boy is good. Dang, Bond man. That's fantastic. You know where we have a Patreon testimonial section in Discord. So if you if that's happened to you, then feel free to jot down your experiences and post it in there. That tab on Discord. Thank you, man. And congratulations. Well, I mean, that's definitely what it's about, man. Hopefully I'm being a positive influence in your life. If you're watching the stream, there's value in it. You're not wasting your time watching this stream. You know, sometimes we get silly TTS and we joke and we drink and all that occasionally. But, uh, you know, when it's business as usual, man, try to provide immense amounts of value for you. Whether it's an education or just finding the setups once you've learned more. So, very cool. So just looking at Bitcoin, cracking 55K, it's very good. I mean, you're it's like you're pretty much right at the 786. I think it was just a couple hundred dollars above 55K. So this is great, dude. Dude, let's go, Gavin, man. He's here. Oh, God, man. 10 charts. Yeah, I'll do that. Sure. Whatever. Gavin crowned him $200 since people are telling <sighs> you to pick charts. Here, Mitch, why don't you pick 10 charts for me? Thanks. All right, Bitcoin to the Canadian dollar. 20 times, 10 times. Thank you, dude. Since uh, you did that, we will look at it real quick. Bitcoin to the loonies. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. You haven't even gone positive on momentum yet on, on this pairing. God, the upside potential is stupid. Do you understand it? Do you understand me? You were sitting perfect. 65 on the RSI is stupid bullish. That's perfect. It's like utopian, utopian looking oscillators on the daily on pretty much Bitcoin US dollar and Bitcoin to the Canadian dollar. I mean, this is set up for all time on 60K, right? I mean, easy. So now, you know, you can't get cocky, but oftentimes when you start building positive momentum especially in these uptrends it doesn't end with a couple positive histograms it normally begins and continues with higher prices and higher histogram wicks so uh, amazing dude thank you Gab, for the 200 good god Bruh. there it is man there's continuing to climb wonderful no divergence in sight so the argument for the harmonics is super weak Right now, it, it is like you know, time could change where you can't catch enough bids up here, and then it starts waning on momentum, and things start getting weak. But uh, you're you're a little overbought on the forearm. See, nothing's really sticking out. It's like, oh, this is scary. All right, so we'll we'll keep our eye on Bitcoin as I try to sift through these requests, all 200 of them or 20 of them, whatever it is. Awesome, dude. Yep, yep, Matic and a few others are getting listed at Coinbase from what I'm reading. Very good. Dang, it's really hard to get to these requests when we actually have live price action and we're the highest levels we've seen since February 22nd. That's not going to change because the all-time high price was February 21st. I mean... And it doesn't even seem like that, that long ago that, that we were at these levels. It's crazy, man. So... I just feel bad for those who weren't paying attention to what was developing over the course of a couple weeks. Look what it's manifested into. Uh, shorts getting, they're becoming homeless every second I speak to you. What, what I mean is they're getting liquidated over and over and over again, so. Hey, Song Denot, I'd love it, dude. Just because we talk about the idea of bearish harmonics doesn't mean like it's strong enough to be real. We just have to monitor. We're monitoring these levels far more than we were. Now, these levels were like, hey, time for long positions on altcoins. If this is going to play out, right, we're placing our bets. And now the bets were placed and 
nice PL so far, but still got plenty of work to do, right? Oh, nice, dude. So we're, we're doing a some sort of Napoleon deep fake NFT, creating it, working on it right now. I don't know what it's going to turn into. It's going to be like harmonic. It's going to be like really like medieval or 1800s. What is that? 19th century or whatever. It's going to be funny, man. And it's going to be the first NFT we've ever done. So, you know, see what happens. Anyway, um... So what was the next request? Algo? Algo's next. Algo was fine, man. I mean, it was looking good and still, it's just, look at how close it is to the apex, man. This is a beautiful structure consolidation, man. I mean, yeah, it fell out a little bit, March 6, whatever, but look how it broke back in and then back tested the uh, initial Oops, some log scale. Well, it didn't do it as well at a log scale, but uh, as you can see, three touches here, you fell out, you got back in, and you're just stuck. You're in between the demand line and the sell wall. Once the So that means like the how close we are to the apex, algo breakout is imminent. It's coming very soon. We're talking within the next 24 hours probably. Yeah, probably within the next 24 hours, algo is, is going to make its big move, whether it's breakdown or up, we don't, we can't say we know for certain, but dang, dude, you're in a really nice uptrend. The macro's really bullish, and you're just right at the sell wall, dude. So the absorption of the remaining supply seems very real right now. So, I mean, the breakout, the target's 153. This is a trade setup, so. Have your alert set up. I've got mine set. You can clearly see mine set up there. So once we break out, man, it could be a real quick run to, uh, I mean, at least the, this peak from February 20th, this high point, at least 142 real fast. So that's your algo update. Great, looks good. Even get argued on this valley right here, there was hidden bullish divergence of some sort. So, yep, algo is about ready to run. All y'all, everyone watching right now, 2,173 y'all. Thanks so much for being here. Hit that like button, that bell, that the sub. Graven tip $24.96. Can you look at WoWs with Plaza? An NFT project with inbuilt yield, farming, and urine advisors. 0.01333000 EDH. Raven, Raven, Graven. Thanks for the $25 of Ethereum. Uh, y'all, we can add it to the list. I don't think I've ever looked at that one before in my life. See, I don't know, man. When you go to log scale to normal scale, it screws up your trend lines. I don't know why. All right, perfect right there. This is just beautiful. And a downtrend, the Bulkowski reversal pattern or continuation. Super chat at $50. Let's watch BTC all night long. Also, don't forget Roblox IPO tomorrow. Thanks for being awesome, Mitch. Thank you, Jacqueline, for the 50 super chat. Wow. Bruh. Yep, Roblox IPO tomorrow. Won't be too much uh, longer till Coinbase IPOs. And probably Discord and probably Patreon. Probably all of them. Why not at this point? Oh, there's your algo. What was the next request? Uh, as Bitcoin's at 55541 I'm watching it, man. We're good. All right, all is well. Almost $70,000 again on Bitcoin and Canadian dollar for Gavin. If he's still watching. He might have been gotten busy or something. All right, Kellogg for Element of P. Yeah, not a good day today, man. Not a good day for, for value and stuff, but I wouldn't. I mean, how can you worry about it right now? I just, you can't be worried about it, really. It's such a big pattern. Dividends, don't forget the dividends. Don't forget the value area. It go down to 5578. I'm still gonna be okay on it. I'm still not gonna be scared. Like that'll be like really like I'll pay attention because that ice line back from 2014. But you trust in like where it is on the chart, right? Trust that it's at clearly a lower risk area of a major range, right? I mean, the low points, the high points. You know, I mean, I mean just like thy will be done. 
triple MACD bullish divergence on the daily. And look, man, I mean, you actually, if you zoom in with a, a microscope here, you can see just a little bit. But sometimes all it takes is just a little bit. Look, traders set it up February 12th at 56.86. You rallied really hard, and then you came back down, and then traders set it up March 1st, 56.91 smidge of accumulation just enough sneaky accumulation so i just may, hey what would be wrong with the back testing 5850 now 5850 i don't think anything would be wrong with that where was that uh, 5850 is a high from september of 2008 you have not back tested that and confirmed it as support yet and you could so you see like how like strong the support area is between 55 78 and 58 50 and, and the, the patterns painted here that's that's it dude x marks the spot i own a considerable amount of kellogg's and I'm, i don't care i'm just gonna hold it i'm reinvesting the dividends i don't care how long it takes okay eventually 68 dollars. eventually 72 71 that's it kellogg's beautiful or kellogg company What's the next one? Storm X. I think we looked at this like yesterday or something. God, you want wrapped ether? What was it you wanted? There's so many, like you can look at anything on it. Storm the US dollar. Okay. Okay. Storm to the US dollar. Well, looks like it's created its own little range at whatever that is. 855,000. Wait, no, 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 that's 8.5 tenths of one penny, excuse Does me. Does anyone remember when yesterday Mitch was talking about Phantom? Easy 20% up. What's up, Illy? Thanks for the five pound super chat, mate. Uh, yeah, I mean, Phantom, the uniquely beautiful harmonic structure. I mean, it was, it was like no other assets were really looking that good. But uh, yeah, man, it happens. TA gets respected sometimes. So it's all good. Um, anyway, so this probably Storm X probably could run to 1.3 cents up here. If you're talking about a range bound asset and if it breaks that well, then you're going to the, the wick high at 1.7 cents. And then if you ever broke that, you can Fibonacci, you know, to get another target. Thanks you. Smiley face. That's right, dude. Matthew D connect. Is the D for Digibyte? Is wait, is Digibyte also in Michigan, Matthew D? You should lobby to get it there, okay? Re. So if you ever broke uh, the all-time high wick at 1.7 cents, the target's two cents, right? Duh, psychological number. It's also one two seven two fifth extension. So that's the way Storm looks to me. The lowest, it looks like the base bottom of the range was anywhere, but you know, down here at eight point. Uh, five tenths of a cent and the top of the range kind of looks like it's around 1.4 cents you know uh, how i'm looking at it look how many times you touch it one two three and then the candle high close that's why so not really a, a strategic area to take a long you're in the dead middle best area would be clearly the bottom part but you're not there so it could keep climbing and look at the it's almost like one bottom two bottoms like you're showing this continuation double bottom kind of to where it could go like dude one six one eight's up at like 2.4 cents that's where it could be headed if it actually is interpreted that way and really starts going like a lot of these newer coins have been right okay oh, i think i deleted all this i had to delete a bunch of trash I ran out of data like it's like sometimes if you do too many charts then you won't be able to save your work it'll say you need to go manage your drawings it's pretty crazy i think index was one of them oh wrecked dude wrecked hey it could be setting up for higher prices at some point in the future but right now mm -mm. i like the harmonic stuff right more like this I'm using this one yeah I mean it's gonna keep you would you wouldn't care about it till it probably gets down to whatever that number is you know wrapped ways wrapped ether 
63 million or 6.3 million wrapped ways or something because you think about like x a oh my god it could be a perfect garley oh you're kind of at the pcz right now the garley dang man no signals right nothing on the daily implying upside here that kind of sucks and these things can always go to their 886 it'd be far more strategic for uh index to wrap either to see the 886 because it lines up perfectly with an ice line from uh early december of last year that would be the ticket right there dude but yeah i mean and it's near a 1618 1414 area i think that would probably be a much better look even though you are kind of at the pcz right now there's no signal implying upside right all right bitcoin is literally going man all right that's gorgeous yeah, again four hours not giving you a signal either to buy so at the 786 it's just not strong enough to be like yeah let's go long because it's at the seven no man 886 might be your best area so that's your index to wrap to there cool add, add an alert or something maybe get lucky hear the beep I was going to Bitcoin for a sec and keep going on these uh, requests, but uh, it's just at it's session highs right now. Gorgeous, man. Keep going. Just don't stop, man, at this area and everything will be fine. Happy uh, Tuesday to everyone. <sighs> Dang, dude. We'll make it, man. I don't know. Like, uh, I kind of beat a dead horse on Bitcoin analysis. So I'm here and I'm like, oh, if I just start talking about Bitcoin again, it's going to be the same thing I was talking about earlier. not only are institutions like uh they can't get enough of bitcoin buying bitcoin it's like they there's nowhere to buy it except exchanges it's so public like everyone just sees what's happening it's unfolding before our eyes supply crisis on bitcoin i'd like to see this become uh you know we're seeing an inverse head and shoulders we also see like maybe a bearish harmonic i'd love it to just gets about it it's like that was the great area to dollar cost average to buy more crypto after a correction i was trying to explain ta to some co-workers i was like you can tell because the way it is that's pretty neat. that's pretty neat thank you wood division champ for the 1776 super american contribution thanks dude yep i was talking to my contractor for a while about bitcoin what it is today too so it's fun, man. Being the uh, evangel of crypto, of Bitcoin. Anyway, all right. So we'll get back to requests while Bitcoin's just doing quite well. Matthew, that's quite an image. Uh, thanks for the ZRX. I didn't see that. I would say all-time highs. Even it's like anything beyond 60k, you're out of all bearish harmonic territory, right? And then we'd be talking like almost seventy thousand dollars for one two seven twos and one six one eights and all that. Let's uh, look at it. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, one six one eight, sixty-eight thousand dollars and change, or sixty-seven thousand eight nine one up there. That makes sense. The 1272 near the uh, measured move of this uh, confirmed inverse head and shoulders for now. Right? You just got to ask the question. What's going to be more reliable? You know, a nice horizontal line, neckline, inverse head and shoulders pattern that's confirmed in a bull trend, a bullish pattern in a bull trend versus a chat. It's happening. Algo's breaking out. Let's look at it together. Bruh. Here we go. The breakout. Jesus chimes for Algo. Tempting its breakout. It's not confirmed, but 
It's happening in real time. Target 153, really 142 ish, but really 153 if you're talking about 100% measure move of the structure. Nice. Dude, my chat box break? It did. It's so weird. Wow. Bugging out. Never say die. That's right. Goonies always say trouble shuffle. Thank you, Desert Bird Media. We are the Goonies. We are global Goonies, man. Thank you. To charge our Not much to look at now. It's a little late. I mean, it was consolidating. It was making higher lows. It looked like many other altcoins. It was getting back above critical areas. And once it broke it, boom. Huge move up. The beautiful uh, triangle pattern, you know, symmetrical triangle. Amazing. So, why look at OXT when we're looking at OXT from yesterday before the breakout? We're watching it now, right? Now go OXT, same thing in certain ways. This was just stronger looking. All right, so 3% on the new day, and that could keep going, man. I'll just add an alert above this wick high from March 4th. So we're really starting to go. I'm gonna hear a beep when we come back to it. Or a butler chime. <sighs> okay. I don't know what this is. It's only to the Bitcoin pair or an Ethereum pair, so that sucks. I have no words. I don't know what to tell you. You wanted CVNT coin. TRCH, since energy is killing it. Just trying to contribute. Thanks, me. So, LeBon, but thanks for the 20, dude. You already broke the jar. Wow. Add to the list. Thanks. This is ZBNT to BDC. I have no idea what to even tell you about it. It's stupid. It's at 95 on the RSI right now. It gapped up somehow. It's down 1.84%. Nothing makes sense. I don't know. Content value network to Bitcoin crazy cool moving on that's it that's another weird one dude it's like we got a new pokemon game out and we're we got new we're like what are all these new pokemon dude i don't know these are all weird pokemons dude like what do you what am i supposed to do if you request this asset, there's nothing I can do. Straight line up. Added. There wasn't. There's no data to, to chart this stuff, man. So it's like, oh, I don't know, dudes. Maybe it back tests uh, this, and then goes to higher prices or not. I don't know. No, right? No data. I need data. Okay. Sorry. Don't get mad if you request something. Like you know, if you are applying the teachings of the Patreon and just the things I teach for free on stream every single day, if you apply that in a, and you try to in your request, it's going to be a lot more fun for you. We're, we're all going to have a much better time when you request something like Kellogg, right? Or IBM or these altcoins lately the past uh, four, six, seven days, right? We can go to FTM. All the people have talked about it and um, and their contributions. Yeah, I mean, FTM, dude, right? It was just perfect context, bullish Gartley. And it's it's on its way, man. So, yeah, 20% or something since the PCZ. It's just been going sideways for a while. Patience. And that was that was the reiteration yesterday. Just patience. You got to let it let it ride, and it's got to play out. China starting to catch the bids now. China. Just want to say I love you, Mitch. But more so my wife, Ivana. She's beside me. 7.264489 XLM. Uh, Razzle Mantilla. Thanks for the uh, 313 worth of XLM. 
I think it's bugged out. I don't know if that was actually accurate. When people tip with the XLM, it bugs out. So it uh, might be inaccurate, the number amount. Uh, but thank you, dude. And thank you, uh, Ivana. Really appreciate it. I'm glad y'all both enjoy watching. And as big, look at Bitcoin, Ivana. Razzle. Look at this. It's beautiful. Take us to the 886 now. Take us to 56,655. The next step. And then after that's all time highs, man. So we're getting into shark territory. Great news, everyone. Great news. No bearish divergence. Dash bumping. Oh, wow. So surprised. So surprised at these assets for respecting the technical analysis. The bullish inverse head and shoulders. The bullish continuation reversal patterns right in a bull trend fantastic stuff man as the world keeps printing stupid fiat rudy poo money bitcoin keeps appreciating yes we are back good day to you sir so brian thank you for the 10 did i gotta wow it's like it's getting worse man My freaking overlay is just getting wrecked What's up, Batish, man? Yeah, we got uh, AAV, like AA Aaron. Who posted that GIF in Patreon last night? That was hilarious. You done effed up, AA no, <sighs> Yo, Mitch. Can we take a look at our APLS? Looking for ideas on where to put my limit cells. Um, if you were. Well, that was a vax. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at it. KSM slash it was looking bullish, I think. Oh, I know it was. Remember, it was like a falling wedge breakout. Kirkby, what's up, dude? Thank you, man, for the congratulations on the new place. Yeah, I won't be moving in for like six to eight weeks since we're gutting the entire kitchen and redoing like all of it, man. Not going to be, I mean, an easy process, but it's like completely gutted. I went there today and it's just like, it looks crazy different you know with everything gutted so much more like you can visualize now the changes you want to make once everything's gutted so anyway yep we'll look at these we're just i'm just kind of staring at bitcoin hitting uh its highest levels since february 22nd which there's only one day that had higher prices above february 22nd and it was the 21st so we're just climbing on up let's see OXT. Yeah, OXT. <clears throat> the next one. It was beautiful, dude. <clears throat> you could say inverse head and shoulders. You can say triangle. It was just nice, you know, the down sloping resistance here. Uh, it was really not just that. It was the congestion area between 47 or 48 and 49 cents, 50 cents, right? Look left. What was so important about it? I mean, that that was it, man. Such a such a big deal. It's like all uh, right here, highest point trader settled up August thirtieth, and just like the wick high and multiple times February fourth, even September September of last year. Like you making a low and then a higher low, like it's a confirmation. Like there was probably an X A B C D, probably a little bullish cipher right here too. Many one, and it does, so it was just a bunch of different things. And once you got above fifty cents ish. That was it, man. You're probably headed to 65 cents again. Just to be real, 65 cents is kind of the target. Measure move would probably take you near there too, right? Noise, noise. Can you take a look at EOS? What's up, James? Thanks, man. Yep. Loonies, dude. And it's a little lower. It's like uh, 64 cents is the measure move, but 65, 66 cents is like the next major high. The next high point. This is all the daily. It's like where traders set up their highest point. Let me, um, let me refresh this cash. It's just obnoxious. So, what do you want to look at? The time to be requesting OXT really was, you know, just a few days ago when it was making this inside of the pattern. Right, getting above 50 cents. You would have requested been talking about the same stuff that talk about now. It's over. It's like it's moving up and you can, you didn't miss it. You missed 
the lowest risk, easiest area to manage your risk. Now it's marking up and it's probably got room to run. Just saying. All right, OXT, 65 cents or 66 cents coming by the looks of it, right? Next one. Can you take a look at a low cap call? It currently has an ETH and BTC pair on Binance awaiting a USDT pairing. I've been following it for a few months now. Chart seems bullish, but I would like your opinion. CB, sure, thanks, man. So, Ray, Raspberry. Thanks, dude, for the link. Holy crap. Bruh. Thank you, man. Ray Raspberry took $31.69. Can you take a look at Sriwood? Saffron capped at 80,000 coins. Coinbase Ventures investment announcement earlier this week. 1.0000000 link. Sure. I can, I can add it to the list. Can't guarantee it's going to be great analysis or anything, but uh, I can try. So it had it like it's like it look at the run man now you're on the other side of the fence and it's like yep maybe hidden bullish divergence could be appearing i think you're safe above 174 it did run down to back test that area as support it's a lot of history there so now it's like you got to get above 242 right you get above 242 well that's where it could go nuts again right once it broke 242 initially where'd it go straight up straight down straight up straight down straight up straight down straight up straight down ah makes so much sense so if it gets above 242 it could be in store for a nice rally but you gotta it's got to do better than this man i need more data right that's really just today because the macro kind of did okay one one negative momentum histogram wick that is now lighter you need like consecutive days of data of that to be like oh it looks like it's really developing because just tomorrow it could just sell off again below 242 so i mean yeah, maybe if it gets to 242, it's probably going to much higher prices. But if not, it's going back down to 174. If it doesn't hold 174, it's probably going down to 80 cents. So it's not really a strong argument right now. Not really. I mean, you try to say it's trying to bullishly, it's trying to diverge a little bit on the four hour MACD. Yeah, this is where an attempted rally could occur. You could fill a gap up at 331 or something before making a lower high and selling off again so it's it's okay i mean but normally you want better variables and you want those variables to be presented on multiple time scales oh this doesn't really have that quite yet doesn't mean it can't reverse here and run up okay here's your lend it's China to me. What a breakout. China. Beautiful China. breakout. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you, John 316. You can be born again. Thank you, dude. All right. Uh, so you got you broke multiple resistance points, right? You broke the supply line, the down sloping resistance. You also broke horizontal line resistance congestion area clearly here, right? You broke it, you now back tested it, and you held it as support. Confirmation the market participants like and want and need before you know more markups can begin. It's, it's beginning. It's up 2.2% on the new day. It started running up on the last four hour candle. Your target is $500 from here. $500. Uh, you break $500, you're going to $542, and then you know $580 after that, the all time high. So, Well, I mean, I think patrons, I ping patrons during like the breakout. When the breakout was occurring again, at everyone. And uh, now it's above like a big congestion area. So I think you're headed to $500 eventually. If Bitcoin doesn't dump, you know, it doesn't start reversing here because of the PCZ of the harmonics. So we got to really start getting to higher levels and, and sustain. So you're asking $500 is the next target, 542. And then 580. Okay, that's A, V. The breakouts occurred. Nice. Nice hidden bullish divergence on the higher low. Okay. 
KSM. I'm going to look at this one in a minute. This was a great trade setup that played out like the Jesus man. Remember the, remember the perfect ascending triangle entry was that last bottom with a hidden bullish diver. It was perfect, man. And it just went nuts. So now what, what do you want, man? It's, it's continuing to go nuts. It's, uh, you know, about to hit its all time high. What? Wow. So close, right? $299, $300. So if you're asking me about it, uh, I'm not sure to tell you, you know, it's like, Hard to say, go long now. It's overbought and it's nearing its highest level ever, and it's after a nice run. So there are probably better areas. Like there was hidden, hidden bullish divergence on that higher low, just like we see with a lot of these altcoins right there. Penny price action continuation being implied. Hey Matt, thanks so much for joining the Patreon right now. Please be sure to sing up the Patreon and Discord. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for the twenty. Sure, we'll uh, take a look. Come on, people, give this man a like. Dude is changing lives. Thank you, Mitch. Less than three. Jimmy, thanks for the less than threes and the Neo in the jar. Really appreciate it. And yeah, likes, sure. If you want to like, that's great. If not, hey, you can do that too. So, if you're at the top of the range, man, I, I mean, I'll, all I can tell you is like where it would be headed if it was actually going to break out and not reverse here for a while. 328 is that first target, that 1272 Fib extension. That's, that's it, dude. After that, 364 is a building ratio. But you'd think a pullback would be in order. You know, you come back test 259, the old hot, this little high here, support, and then it rallies to higher prices. Or it just goes nuts and, and moons, you know, I see like X, A, B, C, D, and then you're talking like, if you're talking like that, it's like a crab pattern. Yeah, I mean, that's where it could be headed in time, right? 364. Makes sense. Plenty of sense. So that's probably in time where KSM is going, but it might pull back first, make a higher low, and then go to hit that PCZ way up there. All right. There was just better times to request it. Like, look, it looks so similar to so many other coins. So many. So if you're requesting things now, it's like, well, we can look at it. It's pretty. It's nice to see how these things play out, but... You just missed it, man. You just missed your best entry points a few days ago. And that's, right? Patrons, me posting the, the orangutan on the little little scooter bike thing and the little kid. And it's like me buying more S-coins and then the, the kid screaming is my savings account. Someone want to post that so I can show people what I was posting in Patreon? Thanks. EOS. I mean, it looked. I think it looked good, and then it's probably breaking out now, or has, or something. Yeah, like it's like the momentum shifting. Ever said shoulder stuff, right? Uh, back testing 368 or so support. Um, you could probably be like right here, like that was the neckline of some sort, triangle. Ever said shoulders, what you broke it, you congest, like you were spending time. Confirming it as support, now you're going again, but 423 is really a big deal. Really big deal. Looking left, I think. Yeah, right here. This peak from September of 2019. You break that, you could be off to a really good run. What's up, Ross, man? Thanks for having dude XLM. Like, I'm in on that one. That, that one looks like Zcash before it went nuts on the last little part of the cycle, right? Before this, all this pumpage and dumpage happened, there was another big rally. It was like down here. That's what XLM looks like, Zcash back, back here in uh, late January. So I would think if you break 423, there's a good chance you run to 531 on EOS, assuming big one doesn't reverse violently. I think that's, you got a chance there. Okay, does that make sense? Break 423, you could see 530, boom. And if you want to talk about like breakout of structure with measured moves, we can do that too. From the breakout. Hey, look, look, dude, like. Right there. I don't advocate nearly as much as I should. Do yourself a favor and join Discord and especially Patreon. It's been an amazing ride and truly life-changing. More than worth it. 
Thanks, Mitch. The best is yet to come. Thank you, Grubman, for the 1776. Love it. That, uh... Remember my fortune cookie? My first Instagram post ever was a fortune cookie that said the best is yet to come. Wow, that was like in 2018, I think. Maybe 2019 or something like that. <sighs> the best was yet to come indeed. We're living the good old days right now. So really triangle, inverse head and shoulders, whatever you want to call it, man. It's like, it looks like OXT, right? Before OXT caught the bids, EOS hadn't caught the bids really yet, right? So it's a pretty new breakout. I mean, the breakout was literally like less than 24 hours ago. That's what I'm saying. Okay, EOS, more upside if Bitcoin doesn't dump. Okay. Thank you, James. So you want to look at Easy FL. Easy Fi. What do you want to see? Currently has a US dollar pair calculated by trading view if you want to see that. Awaiting a US dollar tether pairing. It's China. So let's look at the China. US dollar pair. China. There's a man going around taking names. And he decides who to free and who to blame. Everybody won't be treated all the same. There will be a golden ladder reaching down when the man comes around. Oh, thank you, John316. Much love. I don't know to tell you about this. This is crazy. This looks like KinCoin. Remember, chat? KinCoin. Unchartable. Insanity. Maybe we go to... Let's just go to the Bitcoin bear. I take back everything I said about looking at the US dollar bear. It's no better. There's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, man. Like, don't... The requests are... The best requests are when you learn the TA the way I teach it. And then you apply that technical analysis to a chart and you find an edge that we always look for the same set of variables over and over and over again right those are the best requests when you request something like this i'm just gonna look at it and be like oh okay and then everyone's gonna look at it like me and move along sir all right saffron to wrapped ether. Y'all get me with these exotic S coins. I like the range, man. It's a pretty range. You got near that bottom of the range again. That's a pretty range right there. A nice, I like the uptrend. I like the uptrend. Um, if you could ever get down to 1.08, 1.02, that's the lowest risk area, but it seems like that's was created, and this is a great opportunity right here, February 28th, for scalpers to run up at the top of the range, up thrusts, and the announce sold off again. You gotta wonder if you'll get back to it. I don't see any itch. Nothing's implying upside right now on SFI to wrapped ether, but all we know is right here, that's like your lowest risk area for a long or it's very easy to manage risk in this little zone here, okay? So if you're not at the bottom and you're in the middle, then it's really tough to manage risk. How, how do you manage your risk inside of that? You can't here. Like you, you try to set a stop loss down at like 116 or 17, then what happens if it sells off, you get stopped out, then it goes to the low risk area. So like you can't take longs here if you unless you want to just get chopped out. You can't. So maybe, maybe 102, 108 better area to assess right that's a pretty strong support so far that's it man you'd need you'd like to have an edge like seller exhaustion at this congestion area at the bottom of the range now you don't have anything you're not even at the bottom yet so not really anything i can do here next one Hmm. Well, this one was nice. Uh, it's been a while. Been a long time since I've seen this. But it was, it's DuPont. Uh, DD, it was in a nasty downtrend for years. I mean, since 2018. 
COVID crash, it fell out of the structure, then got right back in and then broke out and back tested August 20th and October 1st, old resistance as support. After the back test, it actually created a beautiful inverset and shoulder structure right here, as you can clearly see. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous, man. Gorgeous little structure right there. And now I might be trying to do the same, something similar, right? I mean, I'm just, just pointing it out. This is TA hindsight, but this is like stuff you look for. Cool things like this were Bulkowski structures that back test old breakouts as support. How's that happen, man? Right, one, two, and then your third low lined up perfectly with the, the left shoulder. And look where it went. Look at that did. Really pretty. So it could be happening again, right? Probably. Thanks for the teachings, BTW. So raving, raving. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, 2223 of Ethereum. Much love. So it looks like momentum shifting here. There was um, no, no. Oh, maybe hidden bullish divergence. It was so cool. Yeah, that was definitely hidden bullish difference, right? One bottom, the exact same bottom. Look at your histogram, right? How different they were. That's in the end, it ended up being that, right? So, penny press slash continuation, you're getting the continuation. I didn't really have strong. Oh, so I guess it was just this valley from 2014 and 2016 that got regarded as support for bounce. Mm. And where's the neckline? You know, no, is this the neckline right here? Hi, Mitch. Love you. Can you look at polls on below the X4 HR? Is that really the neckline? So a bit Von Coin. Thank you. Yep, I'll add to the list. All right, is this is this how we interpret it, or was it just like a we broke? It already broke out of that uh, little downslope. Look like this too. A supply line right here was broken. Right there. I mean, so you have, you had a breakout of that just recently, or you could look at it try, trying to look at it like it might be some sort of Bukowski pattern or something. Turn a moving average, real nice. Right, maybe looking at it like that. So if that was it, I mean, if you did look at it like this way, I mean, you're talking like 88% retrace, like 84.42 could be where it's headed. It's in an uptrend, right? It's in an uptrend very clearly now. So um, now obviously look how much more pretty this pattern was than this one. But either way, we had that confirmation that we just noticed that it broke a supply line. So um, again, yeah. Get a retrace and it could go up to 8431 eventually DuPont. There you go. Could be, but you know. Yeah, there was nice bullish divergence on the four hour with the hidden bullish divergence. So that was a great combination of variables that you did have, you don't really have anymore. All right, you saw that daily and on. Um, hidden and then here's your classic your classic bullish divergence pretty much in the end on the floor so it already happened but i mean what do you want from me like if it's already happened i'm still going to point it out for the sake of education and you uh investing yourself in learning stuff right look low lower low maybe congestion area from history is that what we're looking for we're looking for sellers being exhausted at congestion areas from history. I don't even know why. It doesn't even show like the rest of the data. It's so weird. Can't look at DuPont on the four hour. Anyway, so you want at a congestion area from 2014 from history. You want to see the four hour showing classic bullish divergence, the daily developing hidden bullish divergence. That's the those are the combination of variables you always want to have before taking along. And then preferably you'd like to see some price action uh, correlation there, and then a Japanese candlestick reversal, right? All right, XLM. Really struggling here, man. It's just like, 
dude. Let's let's try to let's do this real quick. All right, comparative analysis. I was talking about Zcash. Give me a sec. Just give me a second. Freezing man. Takes a minute, dude, I guess. Alright, look at this. On the left is XLM currently, and then we're gonna go to Zcash back in late January. And you tell me, is it the same picture? Oh my god, dude, it's kind of like the same picture. I mean, tell me, like, there's just, uh, you know, I mean, besides a little choppiness down at the bottom here, it's like, dude, what is different about Zcash from late January to Z to, to XLM now? All right, sorry, I'm just trying to make it uh, take away the Fibonacci so you can just kind of see it more raw. Anyone... Be like, dang, dude, that's that kind of makes sense. That kind of looks very similar. So you would think maybe an implied outcome could be what Zcash has done. Moonage, craziness. All right, that's XLM Ross. Thanks for the twenty-five. Thanks for hey Bitcoin fifty-five thousand. They just hit highest levels the whole run. This whole uh, you know recovery, this rally we've been on. So the footing's a little weird, but uh, you get it, man. You get what I'm saying. Supply line broken, and you're just at the beginning of the breakout. All right, let's go back to Bitcoin for a minute. But that's, that's it, dude. What do you want? 52 cents, 58 cents to the targets, Ross. That hadn't changed. It's been the same. I'm waiting on it, too. All right? Patience. That's all I can tell you. Bitcoin up 1.64% at its highest levels right now. Uh, exceeding the 786 like it was a joke. The spring, the back test of the spring, the bullish engulfing candle, the bullish guardly of the textbook PCZ, triple bullish divergence on the oscillators, composite operator with Wyckoff accumulation at the ice line established in 1974. Amen, Remitch. Thank you so much for the 420. Is that a joint? You get me. You get what I'm saying. Thank you. That's what we would prefer on every single asset we ever go long on. Something like that crazy, but you just don't... Opportunity does not present itself that well every day, you know? <sighs> don't know, man. I mean, like, XLM, dude, looks, looks great to me. And uh, if it fails, it fails, right? But it's just at an area where it seems low risk. And the way the macro is going right now, it's like XLM could just have, could just be one of those assets that uh, on how this breakout sees a 20% day where everyone's talking about XLM again. Like, oh my God, XLM's going nuts, dude. Yep, sure. I don't even know if this is an active uh, Discord link, but be sure to join the Discord. Hey, you have it. The daily wisdom and patience with the audience. Could you check District Zero X crypto? Much love from Dallas. Matthias, thank you coming in from Dallas for the twenty. Uh, sure, we'll add to the list. Just uh, trying to manage looking at the requests while we have some pretty nice price action. Where Bitcoin is in is beginning to get into the territory of invalidating a Gartley a cipher. Great. Now you got the shark idea at 56,655. But you're just in the zone now where it's like you can't get cocky. But we're just waiting for bearish variables to appear on the four hour and daily, and you're not even close right now. Not really. Nothing like if you were trying to you have nothing on your side besides a harmonic. That's it. That's terrible. That's a bad argument. You got to have the harmonic with the divergence, with the trend, with all, all the variables, right? Historical resistance at the PCZ. Like, you don't have any of that, dude. And it's not an asset where there's never been anything like it. It's actually legitimate supply crisis going on. So...
All right, I'm going to keep on Bitcoin and pull back a little bit for a minute. We just keep trying to get through these requests here and there. weird what a weird chart <laughs> look like there was a harmonic though so this on the four hour here's your raven at bdc i mean nice chart dude not really anything above 255 264 is good anything because um, look, it's, it even back tested what was once support. Support again, nice. I guess you could start arguing, trying to say hidden divergence is trying to appear or something. Sure. You did bullishly engulf yesterday, nice. I just, again though, anything to the BTC you pair is so tough, man. Scale hopping really changed my view on trading. Do you usually prospect trades on longer time scales and then use shorter ones to plan exit and Yep, that's exactly what you do. Ray Mitch, thanks for the... Is that a joint? Yeah, man. Like, you start out, like, when you get a new, brand new foreign chart you've never seen before, you start out, you try to go the weekly, right? You zoom out. And then you plot your ice lines. You look, where's the historical support? What is the price action correlation between different ice lines, right? And then it's like, you know almost real fast if you're at an area that makes sense for a long or not. And then you're looking at the oscillators after you plot those ice lines. And then... Once you're finished on the weekly, it looks pretty good. Dang, man, there's some divergence there near an ice line. All right, then we go into the daily. And then we look at the daily. Oh my God, the daily showing some sort of divergence too at the same ice line. All right, we're in business. And then you go to the four hour and the four hours just showed a bullish engulfing candle off that ice line with divergence, hidden divergence of some sort or Bukowski pattern. That, that's your buying signal. The four, you use the weekly and the daily to gauge that the trade is going to be viable and it's going to be a much more significant significant wave up and then the four hours how you place your bids that's when you say all right it's time the four hours implying it's time to go so the four hour ushers in the daily mat maturation into the weekly right so uh the cascading effect of the time scales where the four hour ushers in the daily which ushers in the weekly which usher maybe ushers in the monthly so yeah Thank you, Ray Mitch. Use the four hour for the one would use the four hour to take the long, but one wants to really have that daily and weekly implying the exact same thing as the four hour. Otherwise, if you don't have help on the daily or the weekly and you only have help on the four hour, then the the rally that you get could be pathetic. It could be yeah not really high, makes 30 percent redress and then dumps again, and then it's like ah, right? That's but if you have that signal of four daily and weekly, then it's like implying that four hour is going to reverse, but it's going to reverse and the daily is going to be able to take that higher and the weekly is really significant. So like it could be a major reversal to the upside, okay, versus just a Rudy Poo four hour reversal and then a dump again. All right. So I don't know, man. I'm looking at Raven going cool. I mean, you're cool. You're good above 255. But I was just talking to Crypto Fair about this too. She was asking, and it's like, and I'm just talking about Bitcoin pairs. Asking, I'm like, look, I mean, I don't know how anyone could reasonably want to take a long on anything to the Bitcoin pair. You're talking about the best perform, best performing asset on the planet by far. Not even a question. With the best track record, pretty much for 12 years. Please check the description if you're requesting things. Thank you. Can you um, take a look at Ben Protocol? How could you want to go long to BTC? You're going, you're like, the Since denominator like pair is the most dominant bullish thing ever, right? So most likely anything that's tied to that denominator, like gold, is going to get shattered. Thoughts on clothes. Plus action filed against for hiding trash, clubs, trash, dude. It broke that ice line. Thanks. Awful. Awful, dude. Trash. So, uh, hey, maybe there was a harmonic, but there certainly was no 
reversal low, confirmation low, just one low, like X, A, B, C, D, maybe. You know, it's like Garley or something. So it could come double bottom before going higher, but again, in the end, it's not gonna do well if Bitcoin keeps getting bought up by institutions, so. All right, that's my, kind of my thought process on BTC pairs. Look, look at XAU to BTC. It's pathetic, man. This is gold. Gold's better than Raven coin, dude. Look at it. All-time lows, fresh all-time lows, like literally minutes ago. Minutes ago, it hit its lowest level ever. Gold to Bitcoin. This is the Peter Schiff get wrecked chart. Look at it. This was the old all-time low. This was uh, the buying climax when we hit almost $20,000. And this is now. Gold to Bitcoin, it's terrible. But so, Raven coin to Bitcoin, anything. S&P to Bitcoin, all of it sucks. It's just not gonna do well. Because Bitcoin's the best performing asset on the planet. So why trade those, why trade that pair? They'll end up just making lower highs and then dumping again to lower lows. All right. Same requests every day, seems like, some of these S coins. I mean, I don't, like what polls the US dollar, Polka starter, we looked at it yesterday, it looked okay, right? It was like, hidden divergence of some sort. Look at that, man, it even went down to back, very close to back testing the bottom of the range for rallying, and now it's like triple bottom stuff. And the top of the range is 513, if you ever broke out, if you ever broke uh, 513, you were going probably to 689, measured move of the structure, so. Heck, man, you were kind of, Lucky well, enough to say maybe there was diver you were diverging a little bit on the MACD histogram on the lower low. And look at the nice bullish my hammer right here. Advice is rooted in my understanding of economics. Gold has intrinsic value. My mother always taught me that two wrongs don't make a right. Greed is normally balanced by fear. When the dollar collapses, it's not doing it in a vacuum. Thank you, Peter Schiff. Dollar collapses when I mean it could it's debatable when the dollar the dollar could be collapsing right now. I mean in ways you could say that with what Bitcoin's doing and with what commodities have done, everything's up like fifty plus percent. Cattle, lumber, sugar, soybeans, cotton. You name it, man. They're all up substantially in the past year, so because US dollar getting wrecked. So nothing's changed besides, wow, it was at a low risk area and it's popping. It popped and if you're in the dead middle now, right? Low risk, high risk, breakout target, easy, right? Hasn't done that, has not broken out yet. Hey, it almost looks like a, a little too deep for an XABCD that is conventional or textbook. Dang, man. Look where the 618, I mean, that's like XABCD. Or you got yourself kind of a bullish garly stuff, bullish shark, bullish cipher if you X, A, B, C, D. So, uh, yeah. See it 513 eventually if it breaks that. See the 689 on poles. Polka starter. What was that one again? I can't remember the ticker. District. DNT, that was it, right? Yeah, it looks great. It looks amazing, actually. DNT looks amazing, dude. Oh my god. Oh, it's like breaking out pretty much right now. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this thing's like breaking out. And it's in right. I mean, I, Trader set it up lowest point February 15th. Look, highest point they set it up 24th. You're just now getting you. Well, thrusted, now you're breaking back out. So I would think that uh, your next target's 34.668 cents, and then after that, uh, 38.42 cents. Great, man. Well, look at all this accumulation. Look how it's holding 200 moving average as support. Looks amazing. Looks like a set up for higher prices. DNT. Yep. Very, very nice uptrend. Extremely bullish trend. It's just doing the very similar stuff that it's done before, right? That we, we've seen identified, right? And the thing blew up. So it's looking to blow up again. 
uh, mark conditions stay bullish, DNT is probably going to 34.6 cents. Pretty freaking easy to manage risk here, right? If you know you're breaking that spot and it holds, I mean, you know, just picking a, a anywhere down here, right? I mean, it's still not quite equitable if you, right? I mean, like that, you'd have to be pretty tight, but you're trading the breakout. You're trading it being above 29 cents. Look at that. I mean, having to stop at 27 cents, you have a three to one reward to risk. And it's very reasonable, right? Or you say, I'm not going to take profit at 34.6 cents. I would take profit at uh, the all time high, right? And so you'd have two targets here, three to one, 5.1, three to one. Or you just say, screw it. I want to make a, I want to have a looser stop just in case. And I won't take profit until 38 cents. Remember, three to one reward risk. We we have to have that. Because you have a three to one reward risk, that means you only have to win 33% of your trades. That's why three to one is important. Do not do two to one. Two to one means you have to win half your trades. It's a lot of pressure. Really tough. What's up, Jay Rogan, man? Is that a joint? Sure, dude. Yep. I mean, that'd be great. I'd love it if it was real. Thanks. So. Okay, get what I'm saying. DNT, there could be opportunity here because it's looking really good. One valley, two valleys, pretty much three valleys, man. I mean, the third one off that 200. Move, this is so bullish looking right now. That's just IMO, just eyeballing it. Looks good to me. All right, DNT. Decent request. live now one and a half hours if you're enjoying the live stream please hit the like button the bell at sub be sure to join the discord follow me on instagram follow me on twitter let's go to please take a look at that jersey used on okex thank you browski so trader jose i think we looked at it yesterday sure thank you is that a joint uh it's so screwed man i mean we had a one six one eight yet now we're at a one four one four so bouncing at the 1414, it's terrible, man. It was like looking like it could have been a low risk area, then it just gets obliterated. This is stop losses for you. You get stopped out, and then you don't lose anything like on this huge move down. So yeah, you're at, you're at uh, deep levels, the FIB extensions, just think about it at 520 or so. I'm talking about that would be, that's it. I mean, like the PCZ of a harmonic would be the 1618, not where you are now, right? The low XA. This is a, uh, a crab pattern, just a standard everyday crab pattern. And the pattern completion zone is not in between the 1272, like the butterfly. It is literally the 1618. So it could rally, make a, a lower high, come, maybe come to back test what was once resistance as, I'm sorry, what was once support as resistance, confirm it, and then it dumps again to lower prices. So uh, eventually one could be patient on clove and maybe we could see the pattern hit its PC, its real PCZ at uh, 522. And then you don't mess with it till then because again you gotta abide by the rules right that's it that's clove wait for 522 eventually and then you might have an edge divergence of some sort okay but yeah for scalper it might it might rally and keep going a little bit more before Big don't need to lower looks turning, carry me home to see my can't sing songs about the south landing miss alabama once again and i think it's a sin yes what's up goes to bear brown thanks for the 420 man is that a joint I didn't know you did that, man. Thank you, Bear Bryant. Love you, dude. All right. Uh, can't believe the stream albums is so broken today, man. What's up, Liam? Thank you, Mike, from New Zealand, the Kiwi. Fuel cell dumpage. Wow, crazy dump. Well, I remember. I remember people requesting this when it's up here, and it's like, dude, there's nothing to look at here now. It's look how far it's dumped. Yeah, some really good four-hour bullish divergence clears down the MACD. 
And uh, now it's a big question. Can that four hour divergence usher in a rally that would get the asset back above 1787, which is the major congestion area? All the gaps filled. Beautiful. Let me get rid of those. Love. Those are like targets on the way up, man. Let's so. just watch the PTC price action. Let's just watch it. Well, I, I would, but people are paying money to look, get some assets looked at, so I'm just doing that. That's what I want to do every stream for the most part. So, unless I'm going live specifically only for the price action coverage, and it's kind of a little of both. But I mean, what big one's not doing anything right now? I mean, it ran up to. 55,900 and is now at 55,560. So once it starts, when it, when it gets that session highs, I keep going back to it. Like when we're at the highest level of the run, I'm going back, I'm switching back. But until then, you know, I'm knocking these out in between during the lulls. Okay, so that's what I'm saying, man. Will that four hour bullish average be able to get FCEL back above this zone here? Anything above this zone, you could have a really nice run again. But you're below it, so any, you could come and back test it as resistance, and then it's a long way down, man. You could go all the way down to 952, that valley from 2017. So you see what I'm saying? Uh, hidden bullish divergence is possible, but you gotta really start. That four hour has to really play out. You gotta get a strong reversal and get above 1787. You break 1787, I think you're probably going to 25. That's the history, man. No, normally you go to $25, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Straight down, straight down right? That's kind of it. Do you believe this to be true? Are they basing it off BTC being new world currency or gold? Can we check out What's up, BB, man? Thank you for the 77. Sorry, I'm what? Dude, it is so broken. I'm just trying to reset it again. I'm sorry. I have to. It's just bad. Laggy. You've heard others say that if you own 1% of a Bitcoin, you'll be filthy rich. I don't know, man. It's so speculative. Uh, probably not. You know, you probably got to own more than 1% of a Bitcoin. Yeah, I don't think 1% of a Bitcoin would ever make you filthy rich. No. Dude, I just don't know, man. Like, this, these are questions where, like, it, it's like, what's the meaning of the universe? It's kind of like asking that question. It's like, dang, dude, if we really knew, we wouldn't be here, you know? So, uh, thank you, man. See, like, big one's pulling back more. What's the point of just staring at it? Going up and down. Mitch, you said going long on BTC pair is a bad idea. However, well, if you it's... think of it, it's the same bad idea it's just you're competing against the strongest asset usd value can be going up while btc value goes down i checked the usd chart to trade btc pair well yeah yeah something else i was uh talking to crypto fair about i told her if i'm going to look at the btc pairs it would be to reinforce the strength of my argument before i take a long on a us dollar pair Right, so say, you know, it's it's gotten wrecked, right? The BTC pair of that asset got wrecked. It's like, so what I did for Binance Coin to BTC it was showing like a bullish butterfly pattern. It was at the PCZ of it. It was showing divergence after it got wrecked because Bitcoin was going nuts. But so that that was like another variable I added to my baking sheet, right? If we're talking about that analogy, and then the the US dollar pair looked amazing too, in, in many ways. So it was just even more strength. And same with Dash. All right, looking at Dash to BTC, it had just been destroyed. Another butterfly or something looked ready um, for that that pop that would take it to a much lower high than the previous high, but it would be a nice pop before it eventually dumps again because Bitcoin's the outperformer and that downtrend would continue on those assets. So yeah, yeah, I didn't, I forgot to mention that, but yeah, that's real. Yeah, you would use it to reinforce your argument for the US dollar pair, okay? Uh, fuel sales up 20% today, that's probably why I was requested, but uh, look at the divergence, so good. Nice average, gapped up. So there's a gap to fill now at like 13 bucks. So that gap could fill. <sighs> Hate gaps sometimes. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up. They just don't stop.
Yeah, didn't we say Badger looked good? I think I had to delete the, all the data on it yesterday because uh, it looked okay. But again, if I can't say my word, I gotta delete. This is beautiful. This, this is a breakout. Like Badger's breaking a resistance right, support resistance right now for March second. I like it. I'm digging uh, Badger, and I think this asset could eventually make its way to fifty-seven fifty. $57 and change, all right? And that's probably where it's headed. You got a little accumulation going on locally. It's not much data, very little data. But the fact that it's above $50, psychological resistance and an actual real support for March 2nd leads me to believe it's gonna run up to $57.50 in time, all right? That's it. I wish there was more to talk about, all right? There's your badger, dude. Let's go, B-dubs, man. Safe Haven. Thanks for the daily brother. Thank you, B-Dubs, for the $50 contribution, man. Thank you for all the likes, love, support today. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, truly do. Just trying to manage a lot of requests and stuff. So good. We got that out of the way. That was easy. You know, anything below $47.97, not so sure anymore, okay? So, yeah, breaking out. Up 3% on the new day. No, we're good. We're good. Just like yesterday. Bow to your sensei. All right. Oh, wait. What is this? Shaw? Love the streams, man. Tons of great info and a wonderful community. Check XRP for the lines. All right, Alex, man. Thanks for 20. You know, XRP looks great. It's not even funny. I mean, it's looked great. It's been looking great for like a week plus or more. Oh, it does? But that one looks so good, man. I think the target was still that. The way it looked on Binance, probably the way it's interpreted um, for people trading on Binance. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, New Yorker. Thanks so much for joining the Patreon a couple minutes ago. The New Yorker who can't even trade crypto. What's the guy ghoul? Thanks so much. New Yorker. Please be sure to see the Patreon and the Discord if you want trade setups, education, and pretty much one of the highest quality communities that exists in the crypto trading space. Join the Patreon. That's where you'll get it, all right? I had to say that's cadence. Like, I haven't even talked about it, you know? So, yeah, we're not looking at Schaefer with a German company, are we? Metal fabrication? We'll do it, man. Thank you, Larry. I don't understand. Oh, safe haven. Is that a crypto or something, dude? What is that, like a video game? I don't know how to get, what a safe haven. Wait, what ticker is it, dude? Oh, I found it. Gosh, dang, man. Wow. It's too late, man. Too late. I mean, you legit missed it, right? You had a perfect inverse head and shoulders pattern. You, you asked me about it. It's like, this is it, dude. That, that's the breakout. If the inverse head and shoulders turn into ascending triangle, it's done. It's broken out. You missed it. You literally, oh, oh my God, I'm offended. I'm so offended that he said, I missed it, man. Yeah, you missed the low risk entry areas, dude. Like, what do you... Look at, oh, it's so nice because it gave you a, just like Bitcoin did, that little confirmation low. And then uh, Hidden Bullish Divergence too. Oh man, that was, it was set up for higher prices, man. So um, you're near the target, you're getting there. Oh, you've already hit the target, Duh, it's over. Look very similar to many other assets across this space. You think if it's going to keep going, it's going to go up to 6.9 tenths of one cent. <laughs> okay. Yep. Man, I'll tell you this too. It's like you had so much help too. Like uh, back here. I look the ice line from September multiple times October look how you once you got back above I mean you were chopping around for a while but anything above that was stupid bullish right 
So just kept making higher lows. And then it got back above that area. Oh man, that was it. That was like, yeah, it's, it's time. And it's done very well since then. So now you're getting to the deep retraces where harmonics, all that stuff, 786, 886, that's where people take profit. So you had a chance and it's gone. Great hindsight. Look like many other altcoins across the sphere of crypto. Cool. B dubs, thank you, man. All right, XRP for the, the laughs, he said. But it's not really funny. It's actually pretty gorgeous. I mean, it's so nice. Huge markup. You sold off, made a higher low, consecutive higher lows before it. So you're in a bull trend and you're showing a bullish harmonic that hit one low and then the second low. So that's a reaction low and a reversal low. February 28th, and you've been going, you've been not performing that great, but eventually, I mean, this sustains, you get a pop above 51 cents, the target's 62 cents on, on XRP, that's been the case, 62 cents, then 70 cents, that's your XRP, we've already done the TA on it, it's already been analyzed, so I'm just reiterating the same analysis, nothing's changed, below that 200 moving average, you'd like to get above it, but again, once XRP breaks 50 cents, 51 cents, it's going to 62 cents fast. And it goes down in BTC value, but it's going up in USD value. It would mean I still end up with a profit even if the BTC value has gone down because eventually I can... Yeah, you gain more Satoshis. Yeah, sure, dude. Sure, yeah, you could play that. I don't know. I like being... The market's dumping hard. I like Bitcoin dumping hard. I like being stable versus, you know, I mean... That's the problem, though. You have you have too many passing correlations to the Bitcoin pairs. Like where sometimes they'll they'll rally while Bitcoin's dumping or something, but at the same time they crash when Bitcoin's dumping hard too. And there's no like formula that is certain when it comes to that. And since it's so random and sporadic, there's just no point to me. I don't feel like I have a good enough edge. All right, so you can try it, but. You'll, you will find how you think you know what's going on, the BTC pairs, and then it does the exact opposite uh, of what you think would make sense. All right. It's Crypto Pepe Silvia stuff. All right. Almost through these requests. Let's go, dude. Get hungry, man. Well, 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 loot, loot looked amazing. It sold off, made another higher low, and it's mooned again. It's up 33%. It was up 50 plus percent just a uh, little while ago. Thanks, Mitch. Yeah, but we need to look at it, man. So look at that. There's Bitcoin. See what I'm saying? You're not nearly out of the woods at all. Now we're the 786. Like literally at the 786 right now. This one looked bullish and then it <clears throat> went insane, right? Hit the one, two, seven, dude, look, high to low. That was your target eventually. 13 cents, you hit it, sold off. Looks really good. I, I don't know, man, like if you break, if you go back up, I mean, you're gonna target eventually 16 cents. This one just looked good. It was like valleys, three valleys, higher lows, accumulation. It looked fine, it looked ra red rally and it did. It's played out, I don't know what else to talk about. Take a look at EA. Thanks, Lord Ray. Nope. Nope. Sure. Look at everything, dude. Everything that exists. All right. Uh, what a pullback, man.
Noise! Noise! I got it because of you. Thanks, man. Guys, join the Discord. Thanks for the confidence. I'll share going forward. Thank you, B-dubs, for the 15 uh, contribution. Much love. Really appreciate it, man. What's up, Dennis, dude? Two canvas prints and two pillows to spill my coffee on. Thanks for everything. Thank you for the support, man. Enjoy your mug. I hear it makes the coffee taste 3% better. Very good, man. Coffee always tastes better when you respect the TA. Cheers. Oof, terrible. It's disgusting. Makes sense, though. I mean, reversed at a perfect area. If not there, never, right? I mean, that was it. Major double top. Look. Remember that mini head and shoulders on the daily? Look here. Just extreme bearish divergence testing the old all-time high. I mean, that that's it, dude. That's like you either break it or you show exhaustion and the TA is respected. Look how disgusting the bearish divergence was in the end. So bad. I yeah. Oh, man, it's just like you keep making these highs and just almost inexistent positive momentum. It's terrible. So, yeah, maybe in time you got yourself. I would think that uh, you would wait here. Won't be waiting hard. It's trying to hold on to this peak back from March of 2018. Doesn't hold that. And it's going right down to the 122 mark. And that might be a more strategic entry for like a cipher or something, right? Maybe if you're lucky. Now, that's not even deep enough. Maybe X, A, B, C, D, deeper retraces. All right, you gotta be careful on this one. This one looks scary. Kind of like the weekly is so bad. Look at the weekly bearish divergence you had. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that implies downside. So you had it on this weekly, you couldn't even see it. You had a major double top on the daily and four hour and outside of it, you had another double top, right? A higher high double top, gross. That implies downside and you're getting it and it could continue, right? If 130 doesn't hold, you're going to 122. If 122 doesn't hold, you're going to 111. So it's all about the ifs now. All right, you think about eventually X, A, B, C, D, way down here, like the, the uh, mid 90s. Big news. I don't know, Mr. Old Man, thank you, dude. Could be, yeah, Oracle, right? They were the one rumors, the people rumored to have purchased the Bitcoin at uh, $48,000, $5.3 billion worth of it. Could be, that'd be hilarious. That'd be awesome, it'd be really cool. Just, we don't know. We still don't really know who bought that Bitcoin at that price, which they're up substantially now. But I don't know, man, if you start reversing here, that's Gartley, bearish Gartley territory, bearish cyber territory. So you better hope this starts catching some more bids again. What's up, Gavin, man? What did he just buy? Jesus told me to do it. Uh, an awesome canvas print, man, that uh, all the Japanese candlesticks. So there's a little cheat sheet that is uh, aesthetically pleasing. You can hang on your wall. What's up, Credit Repair USA? Dude, Credit Repair USA just out, just stole Gavin's thunder. Ouch. Thank you, dude. Sitting around about a week ago listening and you called $55,000. I told my wife, this dude, let's watch. Now look, got to give you credit, my man. You rarely get it wrong. I'll continue to learn and listen. Well, thank you for the $100 super chat. Hey, man, I don't know. Like, it was just like the reasons why, right? It could see $55,000, right? Because trends normally end with complex harmonics or double tops. They don't normally run up some like Bitcoin, they don't normally run up and then they sell off and it's all over. Never again, right? Normally it's you run up, you sell off, you consolidate for a while and then you make deep retraces or double tops or higher highs and then it's over, confirming the top is in, all right? So I don't know, man, it's not even me calling it more so just what we know about the charts. We know about uh, wave analysis. There's Bitcoin, man. It, you know, it's funny, isn't it? Bitcoin was at... 55,900. Now it's at 54,768. You're down over a thousand dollars in, you know, 
an hour or so, hour and a half. So Vidali, thank you for the super chat. So yeah, EA, big weekly double top. That's, that's gross, man. Real gross. And your target's downside, no edge, no bullish edge right now. Nothing's implying upside right now. So you, one would just be waiting on this. This is mega confirmation. Not good. Okay, I wouldn't be going long on EA right now based on this yet. Big on the weekly, looks like nothing happened, right? It looks beautiful. It looks like you're working on completely invalidating the bearish engulfing candle weekly, right? If you're in the chat, is that real? Are y'all scared? Re super scared. Don't be scared, man. Don't be scared of the bearish garly, bearish cipher. But it was just, look, what if you went down to like 54K or something and then rallied? That would not be weird. It's so you're going to go up and down, man. You realize you haven't seen a red daily candle in like five days. So what happens if you show indecision or something here? All is well, dude, but uh, just know where you are. This is the area we're watching intently. All right, man, got through the request. Let's go to get hungry. It's dinner time. It's actually a little beyond dinner time, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner. So, been live about two hours. So, hey, you know, got got uh, live late, but stuck around for a decent sized stream in terms of time. And I really appreciate everyone coming out. And thanks for the uh, 1,728 people here. Thanks for the 800 likes. You know, we can get 1,000 likes right now if y'all wanted. Just say it. Don't do it for me. Do it for Bitcoin. And do it because you don't want Bitcoin to bearishly Gartley or bearishly cipher here. This crash is beer cans with Fibonacci butt kegels. Exactly, bro science. Source, trust me, bro. Thank you for the five. Long's getting liquidated, chat, as the sell-off continues. A little, I mean, it's selling off from its eyes. It ran up and it's pulling back. You haven't had one candle close above 55,120 to 786 from the high to the previous low. Not one yet. So just remember, there's not much backing it up right now. But don't forget this. Don't forget it. Again, it's it's a lone structure. All it is is harmonic by itself. But it's a very real one. And 1414 and 786 confluence is definitely a potential reversal area to at least maybe come back test 52,200 as support for the first time. It's never done it, right? I mean, you had this resistance February 17th, February 25th, March 3rd, right? It's never been back tested so they would not be weird at all to see a back test eventually to just so market participants can confirm oh that is a support we're good we're going higher right or not okay so or at least it would come it would back test and then run up to confirm like a confirmation high right like a double top of the pcz that's when you'd start getting really nervous when you're saying oh man market participants are confirming at the pcz that the top's in that you don't have that yet so it's all all is well man just keep it in mind don't let the green what are the laser eyes michael sailor laser don't let the laser eyes uh blind you you got to be reasonable and we're just we're hoping here that nothing's there's nothing else backing up these harmonics quite yet nothing all right And the trend is extremely bullish for now still, so. So thanks everyone for coming out. I really appreciate it. If something insane started to happen, you know, I'm gonna do everything I can to go live whenever that is. If it's 3 a.m., I'll try. 
we're attempting to run to all-time highs. You just never know in these markets, all right? So I'll be back. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're, we're now 60 likes from 1,000. So that's, we could easily do that in seconds if y'all want it, so. So I'll be back. Till next time. Respect the T. A. Likes. Love y'all, gangs. Bruh. That a joint. <laughs> so we can't put stock holders, right? I mean.
down, sharper than a dagger thrust, sinking into my plaintive heart. Thou, frenzied and arrayed in lust, strong as a demon host whose art has been drunken to his bowl, the carcass to its vermin lice, O thrice accursed be thy soul. I call on the swift sword to smite. I, I don't know, sir. A sucker in my cowardice.
JP. I am a robot. I like robots. I have a robot vagina. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! I have some evidence Van Bear Pig could be in this area. I, I don't know, sir. You should leave immediately. Adios, turd nuggets.